Ultimate Carinos are something else. When I saw you on the news, I was blown away. And here you are, lending me a hand. It's literally a dream come true. So, here's the situation. There's this big lighthouse down by the Cape, and someone calling themselves the Merc of Junon has turned it into their hideout or something. Curie. Oh, are they an acquaintance of yours? Sorta. What are the chances? I don't know about you, but I think fate brought us together. Anyway, that place has got a killer view. We used to go up there all the time and just chill. But it's too dangerous with all the monsters around, and that merc hasn't done a thing about him. So I was hoping you could do me a solid and convince that merc to help us out. They've done many a good deed in Midgar and all throughout the grasslands. Allegedly, that is. And like, if they're so good at doing good, then why aren't they doing anything now? The lighthouse is up ahead, right on the Cape. Apparently, it used to guide ships back in the Republic days, but that was like forever ago. Anyway, it's super out of the way and crawling with monsters. Anyone who thinks customers will come calling is out of their mind. Yo, you're the best. You know, I just knew I could count on you. So, you gonna help or me? You can sniff out trouble. I suppose that does make me the most suitable candidate. Oh, pro tip. If you ever get the chance, you ought to swing by the hill, too. You might even catch a glimpse of the Great Condor if you're lucky. If you're into that kind of stuff. It is my duty to support those. I hope you will. There's no fight. I regret that I've not. Spot to put up a post, you think? Uh -huh. We're building a 
New Republic. Don't know what that means, but I'm a rambling, gambling fella. You with an agency? Here to... No, wait. You can... All right, twist my arm, why don't... I'm good. Oof, sir. So you're not a talent scout or a... The name's Neil. What do you say?
These days I'll make it to the big time and give my folks the life they deserve. Until then, there's nothing for it but to keep. Congratulations, Cloud. As such, a talented player, I believe that you would perhaps want to see. Trying to spot the eponymous bird. Created Phoenix, the Firebird, I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its materia.
I hope you won't mind my mentioning, but I've observed that World Intel Collection is stalled of late. I'm certain, however, a veteran mercenary like you would never abandon a task. I know you must be busy, but I'd appreciate your help. I'm Cameron, Queen's Blood Champion, and I roam the world in search of proper sport. I've scaled mountains, braved wastelands. As I communed with nature, I received a vision, the true spirit of this game we both play. And now I shall reveal it to you. Are you prepared? Then come.
wrong. This is all wrong. I don't understand. It was just supposed to be a game. No. There it is again. That voice. Could it be? Has returned. No, that's impossible. It's just a silly card game. <laughs> I have to tell them. They all need to know the terrible truth about Queen's blood. You okay? Were you granted a transcendent vision, as I too was? You look as though you've just seen a ghost. Saying that, I'm reminded of the story of Ladrell Balmon, the creator of Queen's Blood. After he started selling cards, he spoke of hearing a strange voice. He then withdrew from the public eye and became a recluse. No one saw him again until his death. There's no shortage of people who've had their lives turned upside down by the cards. Just goes to show what a deep and captivating game it is. Indeed. This match of ours stands as proof of that truth as well, I believe. Thank you for this experience, my friend. the cave dates back to the old republic.
Oh, ho! Care to join us, young lady? We've got a lovely breeze blowing today. You certainly do. So, what are you all looking at? We're on the lookout for the Great Condor. We try to catch sight of it every time it takes flight. Make sure it's in good health and all that. It's not really a danger to people, but its hunger can drive it to hunt larger prey. Let's just hope it never develops a taste for us. Surely you've seen our newsletter, haven't you? It's filled with fun facts about our beloved bird. I'm quite proud of it. Sir, I don't think the condor is going to show today. Maybe we should head back. No, let's wait a little longer, lad. That bird's got me a bit worried. Haven't seen it in a fair while now. I wonder if we should have given it something to eat after all. Perhaps. I put a post up on the notice board asking for help, but, uh... Well, if you're still looking for volunteers, we'd be more than happy to help. Well, far be it for me to turn down such an offer. It's a grand old bird. Makes its nest on a small island just a stone's throw from here. Even saved my life back when I was a lad, if you can believe it. The condor was looking out for me that day, so I thought I should start looking out for it, keep tabs on its well-being and whatnot. Back during the war, I was running from some Shinra troopers when one of them got me in the back. I fell to the ground. I thought I was done for, until that bird snatched me up and flew me to the next town over. <laughs> I sometimes wonder if it mistook me for its supper. I never managed to regain the use of my legs, unfortunately. But I feel my spirit soar when I watch that condor fly. I may be stuck here, but at least they're still free. Thank you. I appreciate it. One of the condor's favorite hunting spots is in the woods nearby. You'll need a chocobo that can manage the climb to get there. It's pretty tough. I can't help but feel disappointed when I go and see it for a time, and a little worried. Over there! There goes the condor's dinner. Maybe we can track its scent.
guess it's in here. Let's go. do now. Oh, you're back. Hope it was... You can put the food right over there. Thank you.
I've never seen meat of that particular color. Are you sure it's safe for condor consumption? Gotta say, it's kinda nice, looking up and seeing a blue sky. Beats a steel one, that's for sure. <laughs> Though at least with the steel sky you know your limits. Out here, it's endless. I kinda get what Aerith was saying now. Yeah, maybe. Hey, look! <sighs> what a sight! I never dreamed I'd be able to see it up close like this. Uh, oh, wait, we have to get a photograph. Grab the camera. Yes, sir! Come on! Gather around, everyone! Quickly! Quickly! Say cheese! Oh. <laughs> what? So, snap any good shots? I hope so! It just showed up! I could barely hold my camera and... Really? Couldn't tell from a shot like this. Ah. <laughs> well, I haven't looked this happy since I was a lad. It's precious moments like these that make condor watching so exhilarating. You never know what to expect. Well, scouts, let's finish writing up today's report and start preparing for our next fateful encounter. Sir! And hopefully next time we'll be able to snap a clear picture of that bird. Sir! Miss? I'd like you to have this. As a souvenir. <laughs> nice face, Cloud. We're gonna reclaim these. I have a friend in Avalanche. Well, acquaintance. 